Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back and it is time for another StarCraft 2 1 vs 1 ProBots cast. We have got ourselves a TVP on the map inside and out. AI edition of course. And in the bottom left we have got none other than Tier T. Quickly becoming one of my favorite bots to cast. And taking on Tier T, a bot I don't think I've ever cast before. Or if I did, it's been a while, or I just have a bad memory. It's the Golden Armada TGA. And so we are going to be having a TVP. And seeing as how this bot's name is the Golden Armada, hopefully we'll be seeing some carriers, some sky toss. Uh, playing against some of the bots myself, that was something that I thought might be a fun thing to do, get to play, play Sky Toss, but I never really got there in my uh, in the games I've played so far. Uh, of course, the uh, late game dynamics are very interesting in StarCraft 2. And yeah, let's take a look here as far as the builds go. Nothing too crazy going on. And seeing as how there's nothing too crazy, let's go for two likes on this video. If we can uh, hit that goal, that would be fantastic. And uh, if you guys watch these AI videos but you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, click that bell icon to get notified whenever I put up a new video or a live stream. And uh, comment down below, more bots, because uh, yeah, I'll keep bringing more bots if you guys keep doing that. And let's take a look here. As far as the builds go, pretty normal builds. The thing I like about Tier skips the Reaper, goes right into the reactor and then a command center. So macro builds from both of these bots actually. A gateway cyber core for tier with that nexus on the way so very normal build skipping the reaper is a little bit of an, an anomaly but it's not something that i don't mind for tier because it's like the reaper really is a scouting unit for the most part and so unless you're a bot author who's gonna put in work to make sure your bot perfectly scouts and reacts uh then then uh, basically that, that's a lot of work for you to do. Whereas you can just skip the Reaper instead and just go for your uh, more forward play like Tyr does with its three rack style. We do have a Stargate on the way for the Golden Armada. This excites me. I want to see how some of these bots are going to do against Sky Toss or something like that. It is a three racks play, so this could potentially get very interesting. Uh, the bot author of Tyr did comment in the previous game that the marine positioning actually blocked a tech lab, and apparently Tyr is supposed to research stim, so commented on a little mistake there. Uh, that tech lab does get on the way, though, after an ever-so-slight delay. Uh, now we see a simulator's on the way here for the Golden Armada. Gonna need lots of gas if it is building air units, and it is making a single void ray so far. Getting out lots of workers, transferring probes to the natural gases. Gonna be mining those up. And, uh... Yeah, this is a big mineral commitment. I, I'm looking at this like a pro game, or just anyone's game on the ladder. This is a big commitment of tech for the Protoss, and Void Rays are very slow to build up. Void Rays against a Terran, Terran bot that's making just Marines does not go well for the Protoss, unless there's some serious defense from the Golden Armada, so we'll see how that goes. There's, of course, the potential that harassment uh, poking, say, the, if the Void Ray harasses from the from the sides of the base flying over, then that uh, the Golden Armada could, uh, could say, pull Tyr around a little bit and potentially delay an attack, but uh, I'm getting quite worried. It's the Golden Armada is throwing up a third base right now. That's a four-minute third that's a very greedy third. And the thing about Tyr is it Tyr is not just... Uh, a turtley bot. Tier should be punishing this with Stim Combat Shield on the way. It's very timing oriented. And if you're a Terran against a Protoss doing this build, you are very happy as uh, the Protoss is really overextending itself. That being said, if the Protoss bot does manage to hold on without taking too much damage, then it'll have a marvelous lead in this game. But that, uh, that may not be the case. More racks going down for Tier Marauders on the way. They're not going to help too much against the Void Rays and whatnot, but it's really just going to be about the Marines, and the fact that it's going to be two Void Rays here, 
up against 17 marines. There's a hallucinated phoenix that's going to fly over and see this army, it appears. No reaction or anything like that. Tear is going to be moving on in towards the natural, it appears. Sentry gets caught, killed off. I honestly have no idea how the Golden Armada is going to defend this. Another Void Ray is out, but oh boy, these probes are in trouble. Probes are being pulled to the front lines. Void Ray prismatic lines, that's not going to help against the Marines. That goes down right away. Stalkers are microing. The Marauders are getting picked off, so they won't be too much of a threat to the Stalkers there. The probes are against the Marines. The Marines are microing back and forth. Uh, killing off a good number of the probes, but their numbers have actually been thinned out enough. It looks like that the Golden Armada can clean this up. That was pretty nerve-wracking for the Golden Armada. Uh, the Marines did get some good damage done there. How many probes died? 14. They stuttered, stepped a little bit to their own detriment there. But as far as NAI goes, I don't think we can really ask for too much more going for an attack with that, uh, that much effect. But... It looks like the Golden Armada did hold on. I'm gonna say that that was acceptable damage for the bot to take. Seeing as how it is now gonna be producing more air units, getting up a second Stargate, that fleet beacon is done. There's even a robotic space so we could potentially see like Colossus Void Ray or Phoenix, or I mean Carrier Void Ray, and it's actually just an immortal on the way. So the Golden Armada really just wants all the things here, while Tyr, is getting up a third base, a starport's on the way, a viking's on the way, so that's going to be a counter to the void rays, which is good to see. And that's one of the nice things about playing Terran against Skytoss, or a Protoss that is making Colossus and void rays. You just make vikings, and it can and it counters them both. So that is real good for Tyr. We see a hallucination scout going in for the Golden Armada. There's all this bio for Tyr. We see another starport actually going to be finishing up, so really reacting there is Tyr. Okay. Looks like a bit of a poke by the Golden Armada. Going to lose a stalker, but then Tyr's army pulls back. The stim reaction from Tyr is cool to see. A Tempest is now on the way for the Golden Armada, and this is where things get tricky for the Terran AI, because uh, Tempest are a unit that requires a very specific response. Uh, that uh, Tempest has a high, high range. It's able to pick off units, retreat, that kind of thing. Could very well cause an AI to, uh, to wig out a little bit. And yeah, we'll see how this is going to go. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize if I sound a little bit off perchance. I just had my braces tightened the other day, so that always messes with the old the old face hole. Uh, <laughs> we see a Colossus on the way now for the Golden Armada, a Nexus on the way as well. Mm, lots of SCVs out for Tier. Gonna need to transfer those if the opportunity ever presents to this fourth command center that's building up. So both of these bots going for a fourth base, really just turtling up. Which is going to lead to an interesting fight, and oh, a mothership is on the way for the Golden Armada. What do you think the odds are that Tyr has had a, had a response program to how to deal with a mothership? Okay, Tyr is now going to be moving out for a big attack. There's four Vikings in the sky, many more on the way, five at a time, lots more Marines, but... Uh, Tyr's going for an attack now. We'll see if this is too early or too late. There is only one Colossus, so there's not actually that much AoE to deal with these Marines, so these boys should actually do great. The Vikings are engaging the Void Rays there. The rest of the bio seems to just be heading towards this natural, just gonna send it. Those probes don't stand a chance, they just get gunned down. Tyr's army is now heading towards the main base. Looks like a Void Ray or two is gonna get picked off by these Marines there. They pretty much just run under the Void Ray. Uh, they got two of them, though, and now there's this big bio ball in the main base of the Golden Armada. The Tempest working away, the Colossus doing what they can, the Void Rays all going down there. Uh, it looks like this should get cleaned up by the Golden Armada. This one Colossus is just going to shrek these Marines. Their armor is shining through there. The lack of attack upgrades for the Colossus, meaning that the Marines don't melt just as much. We saw a lot of probes go down there, though. That was like 40 workers that died in... Okay, the Golden Armada now going to be crossing the map. We see 
not that much of an army, and oh boy, this is actually looking real rough for the Golden Armada, not building up to that mass force. There's all these Vikings in the sky. Tyr's economy is really, really shining through here, whereas the Golden Armada lost a lot of workers early on. I thought that that was within the realm of acceptability, but this second attack did way too much damage. It was a good timing for Tyr, and if the Golden Armada keeps attacking out now, it will simply die. I think it needs to play defensive if it's going to have a chance here. This, uh, this one Tempest pushing out and these two Colossus and two Immortals, that ain't it. I mean, yeah, that definitely is not it. The army of the Golden Armada is done. And, uh, well, I mean, there is the mothership back at home and a couple of Void Rays. So there's always a chance that this mothership is able to make something happen. The Golden Armada is rebuilding its army. The longer that Tyr waits to go for another attack, the better it shall be. Uh, how long that'll be, I'm not sure. Tyr has been pretty on point with its timing attacks this game, so... Yeah, look at that. Another move out already going down. Tyr just builds up like the perfect amount of bio and then goes for it. This is so many Vikings. I'm not sure the mothership's really going to stand a chance. We'll see if the mothership's going to use time warp or something like that. Surely it must. If the bot author made a bot that uh, builds a mothership, they probably put in the work to make it use a mothership. That Tempest not being covered by the mothership. Prismatic alignment going down. That's not really helping anything, so... Uh, that may be something the bot author wants to evaluate, whether to actually use that. The mothership does pull back after getting injured, which is good to see. This bio now charging into the main base, and this army should be cleaned up, actually, I think, by the Tempest and the uh, Colossus, the Void Rays in the sky, that mothership doing what it can. Uh, the question is how much damage is going to get done, and the answer is definitely going to be a decent amount, as these Marines do get on top of the Void Rays and the mothership, not protecting them. Uh, the Colossus and the Tempest do retreat, but the Void Rays seem to just uh, get really get in there. Looks like one of the Robo is going to go down, one of the Stargates is going to go down. That's a blow to production there. Now a carrier is on the way. This one Colossus is getting way too personable with these Marines just stepping on top of them. This this is Probots right here. As the Marines really caught in a derpage there. The move commanding of Tyr's Marines is... Uh, Quite to their detriment, this Colossus getting in the face is quite to its detriment. It's probably something to do with rally points there if I had to guess. Uh, those Marines really not doing much firing at all though, which is something that could potentially be improved, we'll see, but still great behavior though. Getting a lot of damage done with this attack, killing production buildings. This one Marauder being chased by probes while the Colossus tries to dance away and save its life. Carrier is out now, carriers are going to do great against bio if they reach to high enough numbers but uh there's just not that many units left for left for the golden armada and with these vikings working away on that carrier with the mothership ship having gone down somewhere uh, unfortunately i think the golden armada is dundies here and uh yeah that's that's a bit sad but great to see a bot that builds a mothership turtles up like this i love this style from protoss and uh I, I think I'd uh, definitely catch a rematch between these two bots. Mm, yeah, but I think that that's probably going to be it. Tier expanding all over the place. There's uh, attempts to get this Stargate going back up. I'm sure that means that a probe is being sacrificed as we speak. Then, yeah, there we go. Uh, it's just, just not going to happen. Those poor probes getting killed off. And uh, the Golden Armada is unfortunately not going to fly the golden armada has sunk and uh yeah ladies and gentlemen hit that like button if you enjoy these kind of commentaries uh join the discord which is linked down below the best way for you guys to support this content is to become a youtube member by clicking that join button there's various perks you can get for doing that and uh yeah i'll uh i'll see you guys next time as we watch tier bust out the mop start uh, mopping up what's left of golden armada which is not a lot and uh what a game what a game this was i'm really enjoying tier as a bot with the with the bio timings and whatnot i think it's a really good challenge for all the other bots out there and uh the golden armada was not up to the challenge today but uh that's that's the beauty of these games <laughs> it takes a while for that last nexus to be found uh, okay. The Golden Armada's building more stuff up. Ah, there we go. The Nexus is found. The probes go down. 
But there's another pylon. Another pylon. Pile of the pylon. <laughs> 